Hello and welcome to a new Squirrel Views and in this video we will be looking at Red Dwarf USA the failed attempt to actually make a Red Dwarf pilot for the Americans it was in 1993 at uh, Rob Grant and Doug Naylor the creators of Red Dwarf were uh, asked to go to America where an American pilot for an American version was being made uh, to actually go over the script and you know give some advice um, now the cast that they had was interesting um, create B. Echo uh, as Dave Lister who seemed to actually get it and seemed to be okay I mean there's been this strange criticism over uh, the fact that he looks like he should be in Baywatch, he's too good looking to be Chris ba to be to be play um, Dave Lister, which is just a ridiculous comment. You know, um, I thought he'd done all right, um, but they had a problem when it came to casting for um, Rimmer um, as um, well. To put it in their word, word, they couldn't find an American actor with a low enough an opinion of themselves to actually play the part actually particularly well. Um, the part of it eventually went to Chris Eigerman, and he doesn't do a very good job, and Rimmer is terrible in it. Um, Stranger, they, they got um, the. Um, classic dancer Hinton Black Battle to play the cat. Um, for some reason, Danny John Jules wasn't even asked. Um, and they brought in the character of um, Crichton straight away, who, who was played by uh, Robert Llewellyn. Uh, Chris Barry was um, approached to actually play, play uh, Rimmer. Um, but um, he was badly advised by his agent at the time and basically told you don't want to be tied down to a uh, American TV contract that could have you actually stuck there for five years or more um, the captain was changed to uh, an African American female captain which is fine uh, Captain Tao played by Lorraine Toussaint um, strangely enough, when it came to the to uh, Holly, the computer, um, despite the fact that the two British um, actors weren't actually asked, it is a British actress, Jan Levies, who actually ends up um, playing Holly anyway. Um, some of the jokes kind of work as in American versions. Um, you know the original joke after uh, Lister wakes up and actually you know he's told how long he's been in uh, cryo, cryo sleep um, and then in the original version he's you know worried about a library book he hasn't returned and in the American version they changed that to uh, him being elated at the idea that his baseball cards must be worth a fortune. So some of the humour when you know that Rob Grant and Doug Naylor actually put into it do work. Um, they had a horrible time actually trying to do it. They actually put a script together that actually 
was funny and then the cast insisted on doing when they heard about it um, but because it it didn't really get anywhere though uh, and it was a failure um, they were given the opportunity to do a uh, were brought back um, again for a second attempt um, unfortunately Chris Eigman wasn't available uh, Anthony Fusco was brought in as to replace him as Rimmer Hinton Battle wasn't available and they replaced him with Terry Farrell as the cat um, Christine Kajansky was still played by Elizabeth Moorhead but she was horrible the character was just horrible and that didn't work either the second attempt with these new cast members was Anthony Fusco and Terry Farrell um, it was um, Craig Charles actually referred to it as White Dwarf because it seemed like all the black, all the color, the characters of color, all the actors of color, had been taken out and replaced it with white character, white actors. Um, it could have been very, very, you know, different having a female actually version of the cat and different relationship. But yeah, uh, Craig Charles insisted that the it had been whitewashed and uh, you know should be called White Dwarf, um, which was a harsh criticism, but. Um, I mean, it just came down to the actors that were available and who were interested. It wasn't deliberately actually made to look like that, but that's the way it came across. Um, unfortunately, nothing was really done with the second pilot, and um, the second pilot really just consists of clips from the original British series, and is kind of a mess, and you can understand why it wasn't picked up. Um... You know, but this is American TV studios. They like to have their own versions of things that's successful. They tried it with the IT crowd. They tried it with um, the young ones. They tried it with Faulty Towers, where the first thing they actually decided they had they had um, B. Arthur from uh, the Golden Girls to play Sybil, um, because the first thing they did was scrap the character of Basil Forty. So you had a Forty Towers without Basil Forty in it. Uh Americans, go figure. Um so yeah, I mean the uh British series was doing really well in America anyway, so I mean they didn't really need an American version. But, you know, American studios, you know, they like to have ownership of their own versions but it didn't work um like i said i mean it's one of those interesting things it's on youtube if you want to go and see it it's not very good the quality is really bad um on even the best quality you can find on uh on youtube the quality is not very good of the actual video um but the comedy is there is okay but I mean, there is issues, as I said, with the fact that Rimmer is terrible, uh, Chrissy Kachansky character is terrible. Um, Jan Levy's, I think, does a decent job as Holly. I think he was, she was good. Uh, Craig Bieko was, I thought, was a good American version of a decent American version of uh, Dave Lister. I think he done the job quite well. Um, Crichton is kind of there, and you know. Um, I'm sure you know uh, Robert Lowell was happy with the paycheck he got. Um, um, hints and battle as the cat, you know, he does all right. You know, we don't really get much of him to actually tell if he's any good. You know, um, he he was even con concerned at the time right, that he just you know he wasn't that wasn't he was disappointed with his performance and just decided he wasn't as good as Danny John Jules in the original and so maybe one of the reasons he didn't come back when they actually decided to try the, the second pilot but there you go it's a, it's an interesting thing to, as a Red Dwarf fan to actually uh, have a look at it 
you know. So, yeah, it's a bit of fun. Go and see what could have been. Um, and in the meantime, this is Detective Squirrel out. <laughs>